Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we have another review, and today we have a review here. This is a review of a company called Greenage Generation, guys. G-R-E-E, -E, that is the ticker, and I want to tell you all about the stock. I do own some, for transparency's sake, so just keep that in mind, I do own some. But this is my honest review and analysis on the stock itself. So this is a really, really interesting company. Back in early 2021, SPACs were all the rage, the bull market, because of the 0% interest rates, 0% all that stuff from the Fed, right? Jerome Powell, because of COVID, they wanted to keep interest rates low, which means people would invest more money in the market. So because of that, we kind of had an artificial bull market in 2021, at least for tech stocks. Legacy companies still struggled last year. But tech stocks and stuff like that, innovative companies and stuff like that definitely blew up. And that includes most of the SPACs, including Green and Generation. Back in 2021, the company was called support.com. And although it's not a pure, true SPAC, it really is. The, the, what makes a SPAC purely a SPAC is because essentially the company that IPOs is a pure shell company with no, no underlying value. And the only value comes into play once they merge with another company that has value that wants to go public and doing, doing it in a more efficient way than IPOing, which the bankers take a lot of money off the, off the top line there. But the thing is, in, this, in, in uh, Greenidge's case, support.com was an actual business. It was a dying IT consulting business. So it wasn't completely dead, but it was a dying business. And, you know, Greenidge just wanted to go public and, and it saw and it, and it felt like this was an easy way to do it. Now, these days, that little tech business has become a crypto concierge business. So that business still exists. It's completely different than what it used to be. And I do think that's probably the first of its kind in the marketplace. It is intriguing to me, but there is not much value there. And if they chose to just shut down support.com itself, this little IT consulting crypto business, I wouldn't really care. It only derives maybe $1 million worth of revenue last time I checked the, uh, the income statement and all that stuff. So it's not a big part of the puzzle. But really, let's talk about Greenage now. So this was about August or this about August 2021. The uh, reverse merger went through. It became Greenish Generation. And basically, once that happened, the stock pretty much plummeted. I was holding this stock. I bought this in single digits, about seven to eight bucks, went all the way up to 70, 70 bucks. And at that level, I'm like, damn, I have a chance to make life changing money. So I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to double down. And then the stock did what usually most of these growth crazy meme stocks do. They crash and they crash and they crash and they keep crashing until they get even lower than where they started. It's typically how this works. And that's pretty much what happened here. We're all the way down. Right now it's about eight and change right now. So the stock has really corrected itself more than I ever expected. And I have lost a lot of money because of it. So, you know, that's always a good lesson to take from this is you definitely want to make sure when you're doing this to, to take take your money while you have to have the chance. I recommend it. But you guys can do what you want. I'm just telling you what I would do. But anyway, so yeah, so that, that's kind of the story of the stock itself, but the company itself, let's talk about the company. They are a vertically integrated Bitcoin mining company. Essentially, they what makes them very special is they own they own their own natural gas power plant. I don't think any other public crypto company actually owns their own means of production. Yes, they have great contracts with electric with electric utilities, especially in the southern United States or well, Canada, for example, in Ontario, I've seen people do it there too. Where they can you know, partner with the with their local utilities utilities get great rates but because because Greenage owns their own means of production it's in Dresden New York upstate New York um, this is a really unique opportunity to get to get the natural gas the electric cost as low as possible because they own all the means of production you know obviously they don't own the miners themselves those are made by Bitmain but they still own their own power plant and I thought that was really cool they're already 100% carbon neutral so nothing to worry about there yes I mean they're still they're still polluting and, I th and that's why there's been a lot of controversy there's been a lot of people in New York saying no we don't want this blah 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 get rid of it bad for the environment but honestly I've looked into the into the environmental impact statement and everything it doesn't appear to be too bad i don't envision them actually expanding the business in new york i'll talk about that in a moment and i don't really think they're going to continue to expand in new york but they are expanding in other in other areas because they know how to build a power plant because they have their own they converted it from a coal to natural gas they did that this company the parent company axiom capital whatever they're called maxim i've got the name of it but they they did all that work for them so they, they had the expertise on hand to do this so in south carolina they're doing they're, they're taking an abandoned plant it was part nuclear part electric creating another plant there very very less restrictions there they're not, they're not getting the same backlash thinking about doing something in texas and then, even in the seneca lake region in New York, what they are doing is they're building a, a small Bitcoin mining 
place near near Dresden, near the capital, and that's going to be purely using solar panels. So they're trying to. It's actually what they're doing is they're, they're trying to do. They're really doing a quid a quid pro situation. You know, you guys aren't a big fan of this. But let's do something like this. What you guys will like it provides jobs, clean energy, great for the area, stuff like that. So it's really it's really exciting what they're doing. They've been expanding really quickly. Um, you know, obviously they're they're a part of a couple mining pools, so they do share. So once they have the coins, they, they, they typically sell them all to the pool. They didn't really retain any of those cryptos, the Bitcoins. And you know, you, could, you, may, have, you may have a different opinion on that. I personally don't care. I think Bitcoin is very volatile. So they can just sell it, get their money as quickly as possible. Um, I have no problem with that. Because <laughs> Bitcoin is pretty, it's pretty volatile, let's be honest here. It, it's almost profitable. The EBITDA has been very, very nice recently. Yes, they still lose money, but they're not far away from making a profit. You know, I forgot the exact numbers they've been mining, but I think they mine like, what is it, like uh, 600, 700 per quarter Bitcoins? I, I forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot the exact number, but it is pretty good. They're not in the top, they're not in the top of the list, but they're, they're, like, they're mid-tier. I would say Riot Blockchain and Mara are probably higher. But yeah, that's what they, my, my opinion of the stock, guys. I'm a big fan, even though I've lost a lot of money on it, because I see the potential here. I think it's a very unique business, and it's something I'll probably be buying more, even at this price now, because it's so it's so low. I've definitely averaged down, cost base average down over time, and I definitely recommend doing that. I think, if you especially if you already have it, I definitely recommend doing that, guys. So overall, I, I will probably bet more, but don't take this as financial advice. I am a moron, so don't take my advice. This is purely meant for educational purposes. And I'd love to hear your opinions down below. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, favorite, put on the notification bell, and turn off the app block, guys. If you want to support me, there's a Robinhood link down below. You can sign up for Robinhood. You get a free stock. I get a free stock. And then I'll maybe I'll, 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 I'll include maybe the official t-shirt or something like that if you want to buy it. But yeah, that's my opinion of it. Please let me know what you think about this down below. And thank you. Bye.